Hello and welcome back to the bid guys. So, have we got an epic replay for you today? So this is one of uh, me and Lammy going out in our tier 10. He was in his new uh, Death Star, the, the UK British tier 10 tank destroyer. I'm in the Soviet tier 10 tank destroyer, the Object 268. And this was just a just some random battles we were doing for fun the other day. Um, just after Lammy unlocked his tank. And I thought I'd take out my 268 because it's a good fun tank. We are on Malinovka Assault. We're defending. And as I often like to do when I'm defending on Assault, I like to just attack. <laughs> and <laughs> try and beat the hell out of the enemy before they know what's going on. The Object 268 benefits from having very good mobility. I mean, compared to the other tier 10 tank destroyer I have in my garage, is the Jagdpanzer E100, one of the German tank destroyers. It's very slow. It's got very good armor, but it's very slow. and has a much slower reload than this tank. So I've already got myself into a very advanced position. Lining up a shop in the VK doesn't pay off. You see it's got about 13, just under a 13 second reload with, with my crew and equipment. And for the damage you can dish out, which can be, I think it's a 750 average damage, something like that, with standard shells. There you go, 885 on the E100. For a 13 second reload, I'll take that. When I'm firing the Jagdpanzer E100, it's a much longer reload for a not huge amount more damage. So I got spotted there. These guys are pretty close, and the downside of this tank doesn't have very good view range. It does have good camo, and I've got a good camo crew on it as well. So my my hope is that these guys can get taken out by my teammates and then I'll be able to get unspotted and pick the enemy off. Get a little bit unlucky. A little bit lucky rather with the uh, with the RT hit missing me and not doing any damage. So there's an SDA-1. And thankfully because of the good camo of this tank and also nice tracking shot by my teammates there and I can able to take him out with a one shot. But yeah, thanks to the bushes and that knockdown tree and the camo of this crew and the cam on the tank, I'm able to stay unspotted quite a lot of the time in this round. And the reason I wanted to get in here, and I often come down in this position because of what, what tank I'm playing or near enough to here. Sometimes a bit further back if I'm being cautious. Sometimes all the way down to the corner if I'm not. But if you don't get someone down here, and you'll see kind of what happens in a minute, is that they can get people on the flag, and then uh, if you don't have anyone covering that angle, you have to just pretty much suicide rush the flag to, to break the cap. So thankfully, so Lammy's pretty nearby, and it's nice to have a Death Star offering support. We've got the heavy starting to move down a bit. Still a lot of our tanks camping up on the hill, which is annoying as hell because they can hardly hit anyone. They're going to be out of range of 90% of the tanks that I spot down here. Their range, their view range is probably about four, five squares on that map, so they can see down to about the edge of the cap circle. This guy, well out of range for most of them. And there you go, chose the outrageous pen that this gun has 300 average, 303 average, with standard AP ammo, I believe, something in that sort of range. There you go, Lammy finishes him off. And it just goes straight through the, I think they must have gone through the upper plate of that, that E100. Certainly didn't hit him in the lower plate. Maybe it glanced. Maybe it hit him in the um, in the turret cheek. There's another spot you can sometimes go through on the E100 with this gun. So we got three shots off already. Not nothing too crazy. Only six minutes left. One kill. But we're just getting warmed up. So I'm pretty confident that I'm my shells going to go through anywhere that it hits on that Tiger II. So just put it straight into his turret. Not the strongest armor on the uh, on the turret there, the Tiger II, anyway. <laughs> Let alone when it's facing a massive tier 10 gun like this. So we get a nice shot on him there, just take him out. Probably a little bit of close one. I think that hit him pretty far back on the tank. But thankfully just managed to lead it enough. And there you go, that's what I was talking about with the flag. Thankfully I've got this big gang of heavies to push down. But even then, they're going to have to eat quite a lot of hits pushing this guy off the cap. And while they're doing that, Fire some shots into the side of this E100. Do not know what happened to that shot. It didn't say that it bounced, so I can only guess there was some sort of rock or ridge in the way that hit, or it went very high and just just flew over. But 
But really, that should have been another damage shot for me. There we go. Nice one through the VK, though. Fire. Back off. Get unspotted. And then pop back up. And just try and take advantage of the, the DPM. Because as soon as this is reloaded, I want to start firing again. And there we go. Nice blind shot. Takes out the Jagdman for two. And thankfully now, I've got a couple of heavies pushed down. And they're going to start to spot people up across the river for me. Or across the, um, the lake. So a bit of a low unlucky one there on the Fosh. Goes into his tracks. It doesn't even actually track him. Pretty much about the most annoying shot you can have in World of Tanks. I guess a miss is probably worse, but uh, it's frustrating when the, the tracks hit your shots and then they don't even get tracked as well. It can be pretty, pretty infuriating. So I'm seeing what this IS-7 is doing. Uh, kind of tempted to take this ridiculously narrow shot. He's just hiding behind the building. But he shuffles in a tiny bit more because he realizes that's how he's getting spotted. Looking at the 100 again, but he's also being sensible and backing behind that building. Or at least vaguely sensible. Their team's getting um, a bit of a pasting. I'm charging in absolutely gun ho here. I'm only on three kills at the moment. And I'm pretty out in the open. But I've decided we've got pretty nice matchmaking. There's not many of them left. And I've got full health. So I'm just going to drive in there. I'm just going to keep firing my gun and, um, and see what I can do. Just pulls himself out of the way of much chance for a damage shot. Can we get? We just track him. It's pretty unlikely I would have been able to get any sort of damage during that shot. Maybe been a couple of inches to the left, but it's doubtful it would have done anything but track him. This guy, nicely lined up, taken out. Someone tracks him just before as well, so they'll get a nice assist bonus on that. And we're up to four kills, nine damage shots, as well as ten assist rooms. Still waiting for that guy to show himself. So you can see our team's taken up nice dominant position now. They've all moved down to the flag. They didn't really send anyone around the other way by the lift field, or not many people at least. So um so that flank's pretty safe. There we go, that's the Fosh taken down. Kill number five. I'm really just leading the way in this charge. This is uh it's I find it's much better at sort of these kind of Kill number six, there's the top gun. Works well with these kind of medium to short ranges, this tank. I mean, it's armor is okay, it's not amazing. Um, you're not really gonna be bouncing many shots from other tier 10 tanks, but lower tier tanks you can um you can bounce bounce some shots from with a bit of wiggling. So we go, we charge in with this guy just fired, so I wanted to charge in and get that shot away before he could fire at me. And then get a bit lucky. So I'm on seven kills now. And the I7 gets me. This point I think, okay, I'm actually just lost all of my health. I'm on seven kills. That IS-7 is going to wreck me. But I can one-shot this guy and get Raddy Waters. And I go for the RB shot and grab it. And there's the IS-7 to finish me off. So a pretty decent round. We got the eight kills. I got a Radley Waters. I think... I think... I actually... I'm, I'm pretty definitely sure that's the first Radley Waters I've ever had in a tier 10. So I'm really pleased with that. It doesn't... It's not something that happens too often. It's not my highest damage game in this tank. I've had... Um, I've had a higher damage game than this before. But it's my first Radley, so I'm very pleased with that. I think it's only my six Radley waters when or ever. They're pretty hard to come by, so um so I'll take that. And been for that IS7 who was hiding back behind that building on full health the whole game, then I probably could easily have gone on to get nine, ten kills, maybe got that ever elusive first pulls medal. Who knows? But I feel like things pretty much went my way, as well as I could have hoped that game. So um, so I can't really moan about my luck. So we're just following Lammy for the end of this as we uh, we mop up the final reds. And uh, and nicely waiting until after I'm dead, it seems, that the entirety of my team decide to rush in and take out the I-7. Uh, presumably to avenge my valiant efforts. And there's Lammy getting taken out by Borsig. Hard luck, mate. So let's spin on and have a look at the post-battle results. Obviously, we're going to win this game. So here we are, post-battle results. So we made 85 grand in a tier 10 tank with premiums. Very nice. Couple of ops there helping out. High caliber, 5,500 XP with the double. Mastery, 99%. Very pleased with that. Radley Waters, patrol duty medal as well in a tier 10 tank destroyer with pretty crappy uh, view range. 
not not a line of tanks that's renowned for its view range so um so pleased with that as well a bit of a weird one uh devastator obviously and top gun come hand in hand with the radley waters and a sniper medal as well as another pretty common one to grab when you're in a td like this and a free manual to fire extinguish from op that's probably the the pick of the bunch there um so there we go we got 6766 damage very nice damage round i've have my highest damage round i've done before was a just under 10000 is about 9700 something in this tank um i've got a replay of that up on the channel if you haven't watched that before i'll um i'll throw a link to that in the description but that was a really good fun round but this one eight kills ready water 1784 base xp very nice amount of base xp three and a half thousand assisted as well and uh and zero damage blocked but there you go um so i hope you enjoyed that replay i thought that was a pretty epic game and i'm really happy i managed to capture that footage so i could share it with you guys let me know what you thought about in the comment have you got any radley waters in your um in your tier 10s or how have you got on with the object 268 i'd be interested to hear that nice one all right well thanks very much for watching guys if you enjoyed that please think about hitting the like button and subbing to the channel it really helps us out a lot and hopefully come back and uh, check out some more videos so my name's ben we're the beard guys and i'll see you next time <laughs>